Hi, I'm Mary with Enjoy Yoga, and today we're gonna do a short series um, on a couch or a chair, whichever you find more comfortable. This is a, this is for anyone to do on a couch or a chair, but it's especially for my friends out there who are just more comfortable and spend most of their days on a couch. Um, or if anyone is recovering from surgery, <laughs> You know who you are. Um, no excuse not to move. You can do something. Well, depending on the surgery, check with your doctor. Um, but if you are able to do some basic arm and leg movements and twists of the spine, um, this is for you. Uh, but if you've had surgery somewhere else, like in your core, check with your doctor. <laughs> All right. So <clears throat> find your couch or chair. And if it's comfortable, a lot of times we sit on the back of the chair like this, our couch, but this is not so good for our posture. So come to the edge of the couch or chair, the seat that you're on, so that if you put your hands on your hip bones and kind of rock forward and backward, which is also just a great movement here, um, rounding the spine, pelvic tilt backward and forward. Um, so you can go ahead and do that if that feels okay. And notice how it might be easier to do this cat-cow tilt um, at the front of the couch as opposed to the back of the couch. That's a little harder. So find your spot on the edge of the couch or chair. And maybe take just a few more of those tilts. Put um, one hand, you can see here, one hand is on the low belly, one hand is on the low back. And just let the hand that's in the back press forward and then let the hand in the front press back. So you've got this forward tilt of the pelvic floor and then a rolling back. So you're really getting some nice movement in the lumbar spine, the bottom of the spine. Good. See, you're already moving here on the couch. <laughs> All right, and then find, <clears throat> excuse me, find a neutral spine so you have a little bit of a curve, an S curve in the back of the spine. Let your hands rest on your knees. We're gonna start really simple here. Inhale, palms face up, lift the arms up. Exhale, palms face down and lower. So breathing and moving together. Inhale, lift the arms up, palms face up. Exhale, palms face down and lower. One more like that, breathe in. Could even take a little arch at the back if you like and breathe out, lower. Good. Now take your arms out to the side let your right arm reach up and lean to the side. So you're leaning to the right, your right tush, your right butt cheek is pressing into the seat. And then your right arm is reaching away. And then breathe in, lift both arms up and breathe out, lean to the left. And as you reach your left arm above the head, fingers reaching away, the left tush presses down. So you have a really nice opening in the side body here, breathing. On your next inhale, reach the arms up. We'll do that one more time on each side. So leaning to the right, pressing the right glute down. Let that right shoulder relax down. Smile, we're having fun stretching. Breathe in, lift the arms up and breathe out to the right. Left arms reaching away. It's okay if you're not doing the same arm as me. Just feeling a nice side body stretch here and breathe in, lift both arms up, and then exhale, twist. So you're gonna take right arm in front, left arm behind, not touching anything right now. Breathe in, reach the arms up. Breathe out, left arm in front, right arm behind, gentle twist. Breathe in, lift the arms up. Breathe out, twist. Breathe in, lift the arms up. Breathe out, twist. Good. Breathe in, lift the arms up. This time as you twist, take the right arm to the left knee and the left hand behind you. And if you want very gently, as long as there's no pain, um, you can press into that, the outside of the left leg with your right arm and twist a little. Holding here for just a few breaths, breathing. Let the crown of the head reach up as you inhale, twisting as you exhale. And maybe just for fun, Take that right leg straight out. Two more breaths, maybe some ankle circles if that feels good, both directions. And then lower the right leg down. Inhale, both arms come up. 
and exhale to the other side. So left hand goes to the outside of the right knee, right hand finds a spot on the couch behind you, very gentle pressure to take you deeper into the twist if that feels okay. Crown of the head reaches up on an inhale, exhale, twist. And then again, if you want, maybe this time take the left leg out and it could be any angle, just lifting that leg, the knee could be bent. Take some ankle circles, keeping that twist. Go both ways with the ankle as you breathe one more inhale and exhale. Lower the left leg, inhale, reach the arms up. Palms come together and exhale, hands to heart center. Okay, so we've moved the spine um, forward and backward, side to side, we've done twists. Those are all the movements of the spine. Now you're gonna walk the hands forward, down your legs, and you can play around. We're gonna do a forward fold here. You can have the knees together and let the chest rest on the legs. Or you could take the knees really wide and maybe get into the hips a little bit more. Your choice here. But walking the hands down the legs nice and slow. And sometimes it's, it's too much on the neck to let the head completely relax. So if that's the case, adjust without straining the neck. Let the neck be an extension of the spine. You can always put pillows underneath if your hands don't reach the floor. And breathe. Breathe in. Maybe elongate the spine as you breathe in and breathe out round. Take three more breaths here. Maybe roll a little side to side. Good. And while we're down here, again, using pillows if you like, you know, just demo what that looks like. Grab some pillows. Um, that feels better. Plant your right hand. And if your legs were together, go ahead and take them apart. Plant the right hand. As you inhale, sweep the left arm up towards the ceiling and exhale, tap it down. Switch hands. So now your left hand presses in. On an inhale, sweep that right arm along, opening up the shoulders and the chest. And exhale, lower it down. A few more with your breath. Inhale, sweep the arm up. And exhale, lower. Breathe in, sweep the right arm up. And exhale, lower. Good. Inhale, reach the arms forward. So your arms reach forward. Your tailbone and um, uh, the lower back is pressing down into the mat. So you're going for a really nice long spine. Good. And then on the next inhale, lift the arms all the way up and lower the hands to heart center. Good. All right. So you have done some really great movement with the upper body. Um, if you want to do a little bit, this might be enough for you. If you want to do a little bit more with the lower body, take your hands by your side. On an inhale, extend the right leg out. Exhale, open it to the right. Inhale, bring it back to center and exhale, lower. Left leg extends out, it doesn't matter the angle. Inhale, take it out. I think I messed up that breathing. However you're breathing, breathe as you bring it back in and breathe to lower. Just make sure you're breathing with your movement. So right leg, inhale, extend it out, forward. Exhale to the side. Inhale, bring it back out in front of you and exhale, lower the leg. Left leg reaches out in front on an inhale, exhale, open. Inhale, close and exhale, lower. Last one on each side, right leg is going to reach out, open up the leg, inhale, bring it back in, exhale, lower. Left leg reaches out, take it to the side, bring it back in and lower the leg. And take the knees apart and together, apart and together, apart and together. And if you want to, for fun, put your hands behind you, breathe in, lift the knees, pull the belly button towards the spine, shoulders, um, shoulder blades pull towards each other. My fingers are pointing towards my body. 
but you can really do whatever feels good. That's gonna help keep the shoulder blades pulling towards each other, elbows pull in. You're working the core right now. If it feels okay, stay right here. Breathing, belly button pulling gently towards the spine. If you like, maybe extend one leg. Maybe extend both legs. Maybe you really wanna be crazy, take the arms out. <laughs> Breathe in and out. You might feel a little shaky, shaky. Keep breathing in and out. Last one in and bring it all back down. If that last one wasn't for you, that's okay. <laughs> so that is it for today. Hopefully some of those or all of those felt good in your body. If not, um, don't do those, skip those and do the ones that do feel good. So may you have a beautiful day of movement today. Namaste.